Hello everybody. Um, I'm in a beautiful Catskills region. Just um, taking some time off and I'm really enjoying uh, the videos of the stuff. Uh, oh, and that's the new tent that I wanted to review because I just got it and um, spent one night in it. It's a Eureka Solitaire one person tent, but I'll move to it a little later. So I wanted to show you a little bit of my stuff with it's the box. It's just a Walmart box. I think um, they about 15 bucks or so. And uh, that's actually the second one that I use. I already used one for uh, my diving gear when I check it in on the airplane. It's really, it's really nice. You can you can lock it up here as locks. Um, so I just painted it. Uh, okay, let's look inside. All right. So what I did is uh, it has this um, ribs, and um, so I just drilled. A bunch of holes in there so you can put a uh, little bunch of cords in here and um, I have my cords uh, some of the stuff toiletries um, med kit multi-tool uh, so what I wanted to do is um, I wanted to have a box that you just put in the car um, without uh, thousands of small pieces so that's this is the, everything that I need for kitchen um, stove and pots, ladder and sprays, coffee, and um, all my food is here. Okay, yeah, so what I like about these types of coolers is that they have the plastic um, enclosure here that you can actually take out and uh, instantly you got a bucket or something if you need a container. All the stuff, all the oil, um, hot sauce, salt and pepper. Um, my, oh, that's actually the wing screen for the stove. My utensils. Their pocket there. This is just a watertight box. Power pun need. Yeah, so the tent, this little guy, fits right in here. Um, thinking about maybe putting it in the waterproof bag rather than to keep it in the one it came in. Yeah, so you see how you have everything in one place, all the little things. Uh, and this is my favorite part. Uh, so probably most of you have a bunch of um, Legos lying around, lying around. So I had a, a broken phone holder just like this which I think is the best thing ever because I use it to um, hold my phone and filming as well because I had another one a broken one and what I did I'll show you a little later so yeah I glued a piece of Lego right in here and a piece of Lego right in here and then what you do is you just snap those in place And then you've got to hold it. So what I usually do is I just take the headlamp, clamp it in here, and we can put for all your stuff if um, it's dark outside. And then you just snap it off. Get rid of this and just toss it inside. Yep, so everything is in one place, secure, and just generally nice okay moving on to the tent um, okay one first thing you need to understand if you want to buy this tent um, it is one person tent and it is, it is exactly what it is there is literally hardly ever even room for shoes So it has a, a bug net and um, so my sleeping pad in here. So I'm, I'm not a I'm not a big guy, so I fit nicely in there. I even brought shoes in last night because it was raining a little bit. 
All right, I have my rain fly on. Uh, one of the nice things about this tent is that if you want, or the weather is nice, you just take the fly off and there is a zipper. So you can actually um, either enter the tent this way or what I do is I just load uh, my stuff through through this thing. So it's nothing special, it's easy to set up, just it's not a freestanding uh, tent, so you need to stake it down. But it's nice, I feel nice and cozy in it. And um, yeah, price, yeah, maybe it's a little bit pricey. It's running, I think, 70, uh, just short of 80 bucks. But works. All right, and um, this is probably one of my favorite pieces of the gear that I have. So what I did is I took cutting board, just a regular plastic cutting board and um, I epoxied um, a um, tripod mount for for uh, the GoPro. Uh, you just cut off the legs and then what you do, you screw in the tripod part and I wanted to do it without ruining the tripod. And I virtually always have tripod in my car just like there just in case so what you do is you you screw the, the square part for the tripod in and then you just snap it in place all right and then you just snap it in place now it's not the the very sturdy table oh and you get a table I forgot to mention that you get a table but you can set it up virtually anywhere, on any surface, uh, at any height you want. And um, you, you're not ruining the tripod because what you can do is, if you like the idea, you can take the square part and screw it directly or glue it directly to the board, which I didn't like because I don't want to tripod up and mess it and not able for the actual, you know, what you're supposed to use tripod for. But now, comes as a little, little table. Um, easy to wash, really easy to just, that, that board just goes right in the, just stays there. All right, 